Well, actually, let me just give my dad a quick reminder not to say anything. One second. Yes, Sabrina. Daddy, I'm filming now, so you can't really talk or, or let anything ring, okay? All right, sure, no problem. Action. I'm Davina Dragana, and you're here with me on Curiosity Camp's What's the Scoop, where you can learn all about what it takes to be an international human rights statistician. And this is my assistant, Chino Dragana Kaufman. She keeps me motivated. I'll answer your top five questions for me. So our first question is from Chloe. Hey Chloe, you want to know what a human rights statistician does exactly. We use numbers to try to help make the lives of people around the world better. But how do we do that? Numbers can tell us a lot about the kind of food and nutrition that some populations are getting, the kinds of education and other resources that some children around the world may be able to access. So human rights statisticians will look at data about all of those things and try to come up with some kind of explanation for how we can make those people's lives better. I think there are a lot of scientists that don't always believe that someone can be a serious academic and be really smiley and happy. That's just not true. <laughs> Question number two is from Eloisa, which is such a cool name. Eloisa wants to know what skills I had that made me realize that this is work that I can do. When I was growing up, I was actually really, really good at foreign languages and reading and writing. I used to love science fiction and used to write short stories that my dad would ask if I'd even written myself. Because of this, I actually thought that you could only be good at one thing. There seemed to be people that were really good at math and science and people that were really good at language arts and history. But then. I started taking a lot of these advanced math classes and something really interesting emerged. I noticed that for the French and Spanish that I loved learning, that was all about pattern recognition. It was about how you put words together and the kinds of rules you followed. And you actually have the same thing in math and statistics. There are rules then you follow them and everyone can communicate that way. Mom, I'm filming. What are you doing? No, she has to be here. She might be a co-star. We're doing this right now. Juno, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Juno, come back. Juno's gone. Question three is from Taylor, and Taylor would like to know how numbers actually do save children. Numbers can tell us a lot about the worlds we live in. It can tell us about the quality of education we might be able to access. It can tell us about the safety of our neighborhoods. By being able to look at things like that, we can actually help policymakers create laws that make children safer. Question number four is from Faith, and Faith wants to know how can she get my job? I am so excited for you and lots of other people like you to join my ranks. The way that you do this, you take math classes. You don't get intimidated when you're in college and you have to kind of teach yourself a little bit from the textbook. Teach yourself all the programming languages you can. You can do it yourself online. Question five is from Hannah. And Hannah wants to know how many languages I know and do I need to know a lot of languages to do my work? So Hannah, merci beaucoup pour votre question. I speak French and I speak Spanish and I learn a lot of other languages, but mostly because if you can't tell, I love talking to people. For me, it wasn't good enough to just hope that everyone I met could speak English and especially not when I'm working on something that might be a little bit tough for people to want to talk about. That said, the more you can communicate with people and the more you can access things from all around the world, the better your work's going to be. The language you speak shapes the world that you see and I experience things differently by being able to really communicate and understand the world a little bit differently. Also, you you don't want to miss out on all the great Netflix movies and TV series that aren't in English. Hearing the questions today was really inspiring for me because it showed me that there are girls all around the world that are even interested in career paths like this. When I was their age, I had no idea that these jobs even existed and I'm so grateful to be even a small part of being able to share something like this with them. Just know there's a whole generation of us cheering for you and just waiting for you to join our ranks. Watch more Goldie Blocks Curiosity Camp videos here. Send us your questions on Instagram to have them featured in a future campisode.